made his announcement among fellow lawmakers, friends and family outside his Monona business. And for those of you who have tried and tried but still cannot find work, I pledge that I will go to Washington to fight for you. Scott Walker brazenly and foolishly didn't understand what, was he, in, what he was in for when he thought he could ignore us. That's a lesson too many in Washington need to learn. And I hope you'll send me to Washington to help teach them that. It's going to be a very positive campaign, uh, but there are some differences. Uh, I think, you know, one is my legislative uh, experience uh, and accomplishments uh, serving three terms on the Joint Finance Committee. One is co-chair along with Senator Mark Miller. Uh, some of the legislation I've passed, even when the Republicans have been in control, uh, Compassionate Care for Rape Victims, the American Jobs Act, I think those will stand out. But also my life experience. You know, for 23 Being years, a business person. half of my lifetime, literally 23 years, I've had a small business. I know a little bit about job creation. I work with small businesses. Uh, what small businesses don't need is a new tax break for the uber wealthy. What they need is access to capital so they can expand and hire people. Uh, and I think I'm best suited to really deal with the, the most important issue facing us, which is jobs in the economy. You, you said uh, in your announcement that you will compromise or would compromise should you be elected in Washington, but you won't capitulate. What do you mean by yeah. that? You know, I, I think I fought when some, Scott Walker did some things in Wisconsin this year, I fought very hard and was one of the people standing out the most against uh, what was happening when he was trying to take away workers' rights and in a very bad budget. Uh, but at the same time, I've reached across the aisle and helped pass bills like my Compassionate Care for Rape Victims, making sure we have emergency contraceptives in the emergency rooms. Uh, we worked that for four sessions and passed it when we got enough Republicans to come on board and we could pass a very good, important bill. Uh, but at the same time, uh, my core values, uh, I'll never capitulate. So I, I know how to reach across the aisle when we need to work together. But at the same time, uh, when it comes to core rock uh, progressive values, uh, I will never capitulate, but I'll work really hard to get my ideas passed. Here's, here's a, the, the question that comes from that, though. I mean, if you're a Republican and you say, my core values are we shall not raise taxes. How do we get anything done if you have one group saying we're not going to raise taxes and another group saying um, we're not going to give uh, uh, tax breaks to the uber wealthy, we're not compromising on that, we won't compromise on Medicare? Sure. How do we find common ground? Yeah, and that's the skill, and that's why after seven sessions of being in the legislature, three on the Dane County Board of Supervisors, I've got 17 and a half years of doing this, uh, passing uh, other legislation like we have paper ballots now required for all machines past that when the Republicans were in control. I, I know how to work with people and, and we have more commonalities than people really understand sometimes and we can get something done. But you know, when it comes to just trying to take away health insurance or take away people's rights or uh, some of the fights that we've had, you know, cutting education and health care, uh, those are core values I think that people really represent and, and support and those we're going to fight for and we'll fight hard for them. But we'll also learn how to work with people and I've done that many times. Uh, you mentioned you're a veteran of the, of the state legislature. Let's talk about uh, the, the session that's about to begin. Um, uh, a lot of talk about uh, bipartisan cooperation. That always sounds great uh, in theory. Uh, do you think we're going to see that? Uh, well, we've got a lot of talk on it right now. We're waiting to see the walk on it. Uh, the problem is, you know, so far this session, uh, Democrats have been excluded from most of the agenda, whether it be the uh, collective bargaining changes, uh, the state budget, or the redistricting. Uh, we've been completely locked out of the discussion, and now suddenly uh, there's talk about bipartisanship, but we haven't really seen any action in that way. Uh, I think we're willing to do what we can to make sure that we're addressing jobs in the economy, the most important jobs that we have in front of us. Uh, but if they're going to go off on an extreme right end agenda on social issues, fringe issues, or take us down a path that's going to be bad for education or health care, uh, we're not going to go along with that. So we're waiting to see if there really is a real outreach and bipartisanship. What would you want to see from from the governor who was just here talking about this very issue? Yeah, I'd like to see the governor really focus on jobs in the economy in Wisconsin. You know, we did last session a lot of measures uh, from the recovery dollars that came in from the federal government uh, to measures that we specifically did to help small businesses get access to capital, be able to train workers, do what we need to do to start changing the economy. Last session, we uh, passed a number of measures that we actually had the construction industry, the private industry, do a report saying we saved or created 54,000 jobs last session. I want to see that again. Again, but so far we haven't had those actions in the legislature. So if the governor can reach out to us with some real jobs legislation, uh, we're going to work with him. But if it's going to be uh, things that really just benefit special interests in a few, uh, that's where we're going to have some differences. Bottom line, are you optimistic? Uh, I'm optimistic for the country. I'm optimistic for Wisconsin. However, uh, I'd like to see a few more um, 
overtures in the state government to know where we're at. But I think federally, uh, watching President Obama's speech last night, uh, if we can actually quit worrying about elections and start worrying about getting something done for the people, I think we can move forward. Representative Mark Pocan from Madison, the, uh, the state representative and now congressional candidate. Thanks very much for Thank being you, with Mike. us.